couldn't do that without the braces. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead for the chicken coop build. We're almost there. Actually, today hopefully it'll be all buttoned up and secure. We could put chickens in here and uh, they would be safe. Um, but I want to build the door in order to get it going. I'm going to build it out of two by two. Let me show you what I'm thinking here and let's get started. All right, so first thing we want to get going is figure out our measurements, of course. Uh, I'll measure top and bottom just to see what is the actual consistent one and it seems to be 36. Did pretty good on that. Also measure your left and right side of the door. Oh yeah. Mm. Nice. So now that I got my measurements figured out, let's uh, go over here and we're gonna cut everything at 45s, which makes it nice. We're not minusing anything. It's just cut a 45, measure the length that you want. But we do want to get some deductions out of this thing from our tight measurements. And uh, we'll go over that real quick. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is we'll just start by cutting 45s on all of these um, two by twos. That'll get us started and then we'll make measurements off the long point. So let's just get that going. That way we have somewhere to start. Your measurements are gonna vary, but I'm gonna use mine as an example. My door was, uh, the rough opening of mine was 81 and a half inches. So I want to have a gap on the bottom. I don't want it dragging. So I'm gonna minus three eighths for that. And then I also want a gap on the top. So I'm gonna minus a quarter for that. So 81 and a half minus three eighths. That brings me to an eighth minus a quarter, 80 and seven eighths. And I'm gonna mark that from my long point there to long point here. And then also on my other side. Now next up, I wanna do my uh, top and bottom. The nice part about cutting 45s is you don't have to really do much math because you're not um, taking out any of this. Your, your long point to your long point is what your measurements are. That opening, and don't forget to uh, compensate for your hinges or uh, deduct for your hinges. I put this up against the building and or up against the hinge side and it's gonna be 36 inches tight. Um, so I'm gonna make it uh, about three eighths smaller, go 35 and five eighths. And that'll be long point to long point. Okay. I got these, um, I don't even know what they're called, like a miter clamp uh, for a 90 degree angle. So uh, I put that in there. And one thing I want to do before I f finish or screw it all together is add some glue. Definitely will help it out a little bit. Personally, I like putting the screw on the header, going through the header rather than going down from the header. Cause I feel like it adds a little bit more strength than gravity pulling on this screw. Okay, and we'll just repeat that all the way around. What you working on? You found a bunch of sawdust? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so the next thing... Bless you. Yeah, you gotta quit playing with that sawdust. <laughs> Being as this is a two-by door, I do want to make sure that it is braced really well, so we're gonna go a little crazy on the bracing. There you go. So I am adding these 45s here, and then we'll also add some plywood uh, on the top side at least. And then on the face here, we'll add some more, but we'll get there when we get there. It is. Now we gotta put some plywood on it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it fits. Not too bad, pretty strong for a two by two door. Couldn't do that without the braces. Um, next thing I wanna do here is, <clears throat> at some point I wanna have an automatic door in this area or inside this door. Uh, something like a dog door for the chickens to come in and out. So I wanna put a piece of plywood. Um, I'm gonna do a four foot piece, that way I don't have to waste any plywood. We'll do plywood from here down, and then uh, from here up we'll have a um, half inch hardware cloth. So I had some quarter inch plywood hanging out and uh, it should work out pretty well, not too heavy and it'll shear it up a little bit and then at some point we want to add a, uh, I want to build an automatic door with an actuator and all that so we could put that in, in this section right here. Time for hinges. Uh, these, again, something I had left over, extremely overkill, but might as well use them if you got them, right? Everything hinges on this. Uh, what I did is I pretty much just measured down about 10 inches, just uh, nothing special or any anything exciting there. Okay. Oh, it works. 